Hi everybody! Hi. I know it's not a Thursday, but it's Chris here. And Amanda. And we are here doing our, uh, our first of many lives this week. Um, mm. We are here talking all about Professional Beauty North. Mm. It is this weekend, yes. which is super, super six exciting. Days. Six days. Uh, yes, six days to go. Six oh, days wow. to go. So we just want to make sure that you guys are up to date with everything that's going on yes. in the run up to the show and all the amazing stuff that you can see there. Yes, so obviously it is this weekend, October 13th and 14th, uh, at Event City Manchester. Yeah. You, uh, One big thing that we want to mention, there is free parking. I know a lot of people ask about that, so if you are driving in from wherever you're coming from, there is free parking. That is something very exciting. Yeah. Something else very exciting, and uh, what we're going to be talking about in our live today... Um, we have uh, our digital skill stage, which is making its mm. debut at Professional Chris Beauty North. Be I will be on it just like one or two times. <laughs> um, but also we have a very special guest joining us today who is also going to be on uh, the tour, uh, doing a talk on stage. Bring them in. We're just going to bring him in. He's a social media and marketing expert. Yeah. Drum roll, please. I know, yeah. Whilst, whilst I tilt this down, so we appear, hopefully. Let's see, hopefully he'll be in a second. Yes. And there we go. Hi, Al. Hi, everyone. How are you? Uh, we're very good, thank you. Sorry, just moving that around. Um, <laughs> yeah, no worries. So, do you want to introduce yourself for everybody who uh, is watching? Uh, I'd be delighted to. Um, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Al Tepper. I'm the founder of Tech Food Disruptive Marketing, and uh, I'm really excited to be sharing some serious knowledge uh, next week uh, up in Manchester. Uh, I've been in marketing for over 20 years. It's all I've ever done. It's all I've ever known. And I've become pretty uh, adept at, uh, on the social side, uh, helping uh, businesses uh, master the conversation and make sure that they are uh, a core part of their community. Amazing. Yeah. Very, very important. So uh, first of all, for everybody who would like to hear our talk, it is... 12 p.m. on Monday, and your talk yep. is turning customers into brand ambassadors using social media. Um, so what kind of are some of the things that people can expect to learn from, like from your teaser. little session? Little teaser. <laughs> little teaser. Um, well, uh, I, I'm generally uh, quite intense and high power during um, uh, uh, conference presentations. I've got a lot of knowledge to communicate, and I'll be moving at quite a pace. Um, uh, if I were anyone attending... Uh, I would have a notepad, I'd have Evernote ready, uh, record it, take notes. Uh, probably the biggest thing I'll be referring to on the day um, is I will be, I've got a list of them in front of me and I'm trying to decide right now which to tell you about. <laughs> um, probably the best one, um, because I think it's the most value to everyone, um, and it's a massive shout out to Gary V as well, um, is about the, uh, the four-letter marketing. Um, because four-letter marketing is everything when it comes to social and those four letters are C-A-R-E. If you care about your customers, they will care about you. Mm -hmm. And so everything you do really has to uh, demonstrate that you do care, not that you just want their next booking or their next purchase, uh, that you actually genuinely care. And if you do that, um, you'll, uh, you'll definitely be turning uh, customers into brand ambassadors. Amazing. Yeah, I guess as well, for beauty salons, you know, social media is such a big part of their business. Um, yeah. You know, what are some of the common mistakes that you see some salons making with their social or areas that you think they can improve <clears> on? <throat> That's a great question. Thank you. Um, I think the biggest, uh, let me think, the biggest mistake uh, that I would immediately jump on is, and in fact, I saw that with a client this morning, is that most of the time, too often, uh, people are just selling in their feed. They're just pushing offer after offer after offer. And I don't know about you, but if I walk into a shop and a salesperson comes over and just starts trying to hit me and sell to me all the time, I don't want to be in that shop. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with social. If your feed is just sell, 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 I probably don't want to pay too much attention to your feed. So really, one of the first mistakes I see is that you have to add value to the person who's giving you their attention. Um, as you guys are doing really well today. You know, you're not, you're not selling tickets and selling stands, absolutely. But what you're doing is you're trying to add value and everyone can learn from that. So how can every one of those um, beauty salons uh, add value to their customers? Because their customers will spend time on social, of course. So given that their customers will spend time on social, all the salon has to do to win is add value and make sure their customers give them some of their attention. 
Mm-hmm. And what would you say sort of right now is sort of like the hot social media platforms that people should be on, or should <laughs> maybe be looking to get on? Are there any, is it still like the traditional Facebook or is, have, have things changed around? Another great question. So, um, I mean, clearly uh, Facebook's the biggest game in town. It doesn't matter whether you love it or hate it, whether you're on it or not. Uh, it is the biggest game in town. It's got the most people on it, the most attention, the most engagement. However, however, um, uh, there are constantly uh, new networks emerging. Um, if I were a beauty salon owner, I would be all over TikTok right now without any shadow of a doubt. Um, because everyone on TikTok, TikTok, whilst they might be a slightly younger audience, uh, which is called it TikTok, they're giving me yeah. um, uh, suddenly, suddenly hungry for sugary candy. Um, but everyone uh, who's on TikTok um, uh, will uh, be of an age group that most people will think, mm, is that really the person who's going to come in their salon? But uh, if it's uh, someone who would go in a salon, great. Otherwise, it's probably the child of someone who uh, needs to be uh, pester powered a little bit. Um, to get them into a salon uh, and maybe that's something um, a great opportunity for parents and kids to bond over so yeah TikTok great place for beauty salons to be thinking about and obviously like algorithms change all the time um, you know is there anything that salon owners should be aware of that's coming up in the future or any impending changes uh, so one of the biggest changes um, that I think is really um, far-reaching um, is uh, clear history on Facebook. I mean, it's already in play in some countries. Mm. So if you're running Facebook ads, one of the biggest challenges, and, and we run Facebook ads for people as well, so um, you know we know this uh, from uh, first hand, um, you build a list, you work really hard, you get lots of people, you drop the pixel on, on your website into people's, uh, you know, in, into people's uh, Facebook uh, profile, uh, and you've got lots of people coming and you've built a great list. And then now Facebook are giving everyone uh, with a nod, uh, a sly nod to Cambridge Analytica, of course, and all of the data, no, no, naughtiness and nastiness that happened. <laughs> everyone can now clear their history. So that means if I can, I can see which pixels have been dropped into my Facebook profile, who's marketing to me, who's advertising to me, mm, and yeah. I can clear them all. And that's massive. So yeah. don't just invest. I always say to people, invest in paid social, no problem, but absolutely organic for the long term gets you the best value. Mm. Yeah. I mean, is there any types of posts that you think are particularly effective for salons? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I think um, the ones that engage and ask uh, and polarize and ask people's opinions. You know, over the last couple of years, we've seen some really great posts go really massively viral about what color is this dress, of course. Yeah. You remember that. Um, you know, if you were a salon uh, and you've got the opportunity to ask people to describe a color, what, what, what would you call this color? Uh, what color hair should this person go for? Uh, which looks best, uh, A or B? You know, I think, you know, we're talking about beauty here and it's very subjective and people are very opinionated when it comes to their beauty and the beauty of everybody else, of course. Uh, um, so ultimately, um, I think, uh, yeah, anything that uh, pokes people into asking a question around, um, you know, what do you think of this hairdo, A or B, you know, anything like that. Amazing. Well, I think that was great. Yeah. So thank you very much for, for joining us today, Al. And obviously My pleasure. We look forward to seeing you next week as well at Professional yeah. Beauty North. Yes, yeah, so just a reminder for anybody who's come in a bit late, Al will be talking on the digital skills stage at midday on the Monday of the show, talking about turning customers into brand ambassadors using social media. Yes. And where, if people are looking to find you on the internet as well, whereabouts can they find your, your details? I'm, I'm very blessed. My name is quite unique. So if you type in Al Tepper, that's A-L-T-E-P-P-E-R into Google, I pretty much own the whole page uh, without any page spent. And of course, my company is Tepfu. Uh, so you can look up uh, uh, Tepfu, T-E-P-F-U. Um, and also uh, my specific social media agency is fixoursocial.com. So if anybody wants to download, it's a fantastic download of uh, uh, seven tips of conversation mastery it's free just go to fix our social dot com and uh, that's about as big a plug so as much. i could have <laughs> <laughs> well thank, thank you very you much and obviously you My can pleasure. book our seminar any seminar you can get your free ticket to register for entry or through the links in our bio or anywhere where we post this there will be links so yeah. thank you very thank much for joining us thank everyone. You, and we'll thanks everyone tomorrow. yeah we'll be back tomorrow we'll for another, another very special guest but until then thank you very much for joining thank us everyone you guys. See you later. Bye.